You know, the, uh, the last thing Dr. King said to me before he was murdered, Martin said, you know, I sit here deeply concerned that I suspect we are leading our nation on an integration trip that has us integrating into a burning house. Most of the politicians I know of make promises only to walk into the places of power and then deny us. I guess part of the reason I'm here is to really look through the ravages of the Democratic Party and see if anything is really worth salvaging. Welcome, Senator Sanders. If you line up Martin Luther King's social policy, there's only one candidate who lines up. Sanders is the symbol for all that is right in this country. He's an honest guy and he's one of the main people I think that really has a platform to really tell the truth to the people. Bernie Sanders is bringing up a lot of issues that need to be dealt with. The corporate media has been unfair to him. We have some special guests joining us this morning. Senator Bernie Sanders and rapper and friend to the room, Killer Mike. Hey, how y'all Mike's doing? like his number one shooter. <laughs> <laughs> if you work 40 hours a week, you should not be in poverty. That's why I'm here. People are scared to go to the doctor because the bill will be so expensive. We as a nation have a moral obligation to have universal health care. He is a champion for civil rights. Ending a bullshit drug war. Making sure our children can go to college. And ladies, we want our whole damn dollar. When you have an opportunity to tell two black girls to shut up and get off stage and you don't, and you shake their hand and you smile and you step to the side and you listen, that is a firm difference from turning around and staring at a little black girl and saying, shut up, I'll talk to you later. I want to know how you feel about somebody calling you their firewall. You have to earn the black vote. You don't own the black vote. If I can find a picture of you from 51 years ago, chained to a black woman, protesting segregation, and I know 51 years later, you're willing to fold your arm, hold your head, and listen to two black girls yell and scream rightfully so. My life as opposed to someone who will tell you to shut up. As opposed to someone who will tell you later when it comes to your children dying in the streets. Erica Garner, the daughter of Eric Garner, who died in a police chokehold, is supporting Sanders. Cornell West hitting the campaign trail for Senator Bernie Sanders. The only one running without a super PAC. The only one ain't got all them big billions of dollars behind him. Bernie Sanders is not just talking about it. He wants the walk. If we can abolish slavery in this nation, if women can get the right to vote, universal health care can happen. Spike Lee is throwing his support behind the Vermont senator. Tuition-free college can happen. I'm not here to talk about a dream that we think is unattainable, so we settle for less. This is no time to take the tranquilizing drug of gradualism. The cause is right, and the time is now. That's why I have endorsed Bernie Sanders. Now is the time. Yes, it is to make real the promises of democracy. Now is the time. Senator Sanders is the best option that we have in the race. He is a champion for civil rights and social justice. When Bernie Sanders took that step to say, we need to address police brutality, in my opinion, that just speaks volumes when it comes to being courageous and being bold. We make our history right here this moment. The Bernie Sanders campaign is the love train. We spend more money in this country to keep folks in prison. Why can't we invest some of that money to educate folks? Feel the burn. Don't you feel the burn? <laughs> enough? Is enough? Is enough. Is enough. Is enough. And thank you, sir. Hey, thanks, oh, that, that was crazy. rich. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was rich. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was rich. <laughs>